Hi everyone. So let us solve this question. Uh, this question was based on uh, uh, projection matrix. Okay, projection and projection matrix concept. It is also mentioned in your gate data science and AI syllabus. And this was asked for two mark. Okay, two mark, and it is MSQ question. So those who have attended my class on linear algebra, they will be able to solve this question correctly, right? So let us read the question. What they have given, right? So this question was asking gate data science and AI 2024. Let R be the uh, you know set of real numbers. U be the subspace of R three. Okay, so U be the subspace of R three. Like if you have been given a vector space, so what are the possible subspace that you can have in case of R three? Okay, three dimensional vector space. So you can have two dimensional uh, plane, right? Uh, you can have one dimensional line. You can have line passing through origin, right? plane passing through origin and you can also have the null vector right so these are the possible subspaces that you must know right because i think if you have attended my class then only you can predict like this right if there is a vector space having dimension of three so what are the subspaces which are possible right so uh, i need not to mention anything right so possible subspaces are r2 which is a plane two dimensional plane passing through origin one dimensional line okay uh, one dimensional line which is nothing but passing through origin only so each and every uh, subspace must pass through origin then only you can say that is going to be a subspace right and the null vector itself is a subspace understand so here matrix a, matrix m is given okay that belongs to r and 3 by 3 matrix okay be the matrix corresponding to the projection on the uh onto the subspace u right so what they have given here is they have given a uh, this matrix okay this matrix m is nothing but a projection matrix okay we call it projection matrix this is a projection matrix okay why projection matrix because you are uh, you are you know uh, uh, you know you are projecting you are projecting a vector on the subspace right on the subspace uh, that can be two dimensional subspace so let us go through options each and every options and we can solve this question right so first option is if u is a one dimensional subspace of r3 one dimensional subspace of r3 means line okay one dimensional subspace of r3 means line then the null space of m is one dimensional subspace you know how to find the dimension of null space dimension of null space is nothing but dimension of null space a matrix is nothing but n minus r right so n is nothing but 3 okay number of uh, variable in the matrix number of column you can say in the matrix n and r is going to be the rank rank means uh, since u is one dimensional subspace here right u is one dimensional subspace means the rank of this subspace is going to be what the rank of this subspace is going to be one right so the dimension of the null space must be two right but in this question they have given uh, the null space dimension is one dimensional right so this option is going to be wrong okay i hope this makes sense to you right so you must know that uh, the rank of the um, rank of the matrix okay is nothing but the dimension of row space dimension of column space okay or dimension of uh, particular subspace here right so please do remember this okay next if u is a two dimensional subspace as i told you in in three dimensional vector space what are the possible subspace so they have given one dimensional subspace which is a line passing through origin okay that you have to make assumption and if u is a two dimensional subspace okay if u is a two dimensional subspace means if any vector is being projected on the uh, two dimensional subspace that is a plane right okay that will be a plane so the null space of the dimension m so what is the dimension of null space here null space dimension of null space m is going to be n minus r again which is 3 minus 2 which is 1 so this option can be correct here right so b option is correct in this case okay b option is gonna be correct next as far as this matrix is concerned this matrix is a ma projection matrix so projection matrix is also known as the idempotent matrix okay if you try to square of the matrix you will get the same matrix okay so this option will also be correct okay because this satisfies the property of uh, you know idempotent so remember this is important okay any projection matrix you will get that must be symmetric and that must be you know idempotent as well right and the d matrix uh, sorry d is nothing but what if this is satisfy okay m square m so if you are multiplying m both side again so m cube will be also 
you know m square right okay if you multiply m both sides m q equal to m square and m square is nothing but m so this is also correct okay so for this question the correct options are b c and d right so those who have attended my class so they must know that if there is a vector you know you can say vector space r3 so what are the possible subspace possible subspaces are nothing but okay possible subspaces are nothing but uh you know one dimensional line you can say one dimensional line okay passing through origin passing through origin right and the second one is gonna be the plane you can say two dimensional plane okay that should also pass through origin right origin and uh, the third is the null vector itself okay null null vector okay null vector understand so these are the possible subspaces that you can have in case of r3 vector space so these things i discuss always in the classroom so i think you can solve this question in 10 to 20 seconds okay so i hope you might have enjoyed it if you want to join my classes directly reach out to me on my whatsapp number thank you